today I'm gonna show you the development OS, the powerful Notion template for software development management. Let me walk you through the key points that make this template special. Let's start from the heart of development OS. This is our issues database. So here we can see the all kind of issues we have. As well, we can see here the main filters for issues. For example, backlog, board, my issues, by signy, priority, and current sprint. Basically, this is the main filters you need to manage your workflow, but if you need to customize it, you can easily create a new one here. Let's go through the main uh, views we have here. Uh, so backlog basically is the view uh, where we have unassignable task or task without the sprint. Uh, so here you can see the tasks which are not yet in progress and easily assign it. Let's do that. For example, we have design analytics dashboard. Here we can sprint and I will pick Nemo, current sprint. And here we go. Also, we can see here the board view. Basically, this is the view to manage tasks by statuses. Here we can see the ready for development, block, stalled, in progress, code review, and hidden groups as closed, done, in done production. And we can see here subgroup by assignee. So I think this is the convenient way to manage the board here. And here we have planning view. Planning view basically to manage and configure uh, the sprint, current sprint or the other sprints. So the main filter here, the current, you can see the all kind of issues related to uh, sprints filter. Here we have current as well, next and backlog. And assignee filter. Here we have uh, by sprint group, current, next, backlog, and last, and subgroups as assignee. Uh, we have sprints database. You can see here all of sprints we had previously and current one, uh, the statuses. So if we click here, we can see the all of linked issues related to this sprint and the progress. Also, you can uh, manage the statuses by current, next, future, last and past. Uh, also, we have releases database. Here we have all kind of uh, releases we had. Uh, the statuses, for example, this is the current one. Also, we can see here the all of linked issues, the progress and the automation with the GitHub or GitLab. And the last one uh, view here, this is the wiki. Here we have the view to manage and create the documentation for the project. Let's open Manarepa guide. Here we can see the convenient way to fill documentation. And here we can see the filter views by category to work and manage with type of documentation you need. Let me create a new issue. I would like to implement help widget. Here we can see statuses. I'll pick uh, ready for development. Type, I'll leave task. Assigning yourself. Uh, priority, uh, highest. Label front end. Here we have version. This is the main uh, situation with Sprint. You can leave it without the value, but I'll pick the current. Here we have development property. Let me get back here in a couple of minutes and I will explain how it actually works. Create branch property. Here we have a convenient command. You just need to copy this and it will uh, create the branch for you. Let's say demonstrate the one of main features we have. This is the relations and linked issues. Uh, we have here implement email subscribe API. 
And let's imagine this is the task which block the front-end one task. For example, uh, previously we created a help widget, right? And let's go into this task. And here we can see how immediately status has been changed to blocked. Well, when this task will be done, let's do that done staging for example we can see automation here as well so when this task will be done all of blocks relations will be reset let's say demonstrate it and here we have implement help widget and we can see how status has been changed to ready for development the same automation we have for uh, epic tasks. Here we have ticket channel epic and I already created the task ticket channel creation and the parent of this issue ticket channel epic. So here we link it the parent and get back to the ticket channel epic and here we can see all of child issues related to. So this is the convenient way to manage big features and break down it to small pieces. At last but not least, the main feature of development OS is integration with GitHub and GitLab. Let's open the previously created task. And we can see here the status ready for development. And our create branch property, we just copy this and pass to our code editor. Okay, we can see that uh, our branch has been created with convenient naming. And here is Notion task ID and Notion task title. Yeah. So let's do some changes. And commit it. And by the way, the best practice of commit message is put before the message Notion task ID. And this prefix of the ID, you can change whenever you want in Notion workspace. Okay, so go ahead and commit and push it. Good. Let's open the pull request. We can see here our branch and the target branch. Recently, I uh, heard a lot of questions about the could we do this automation beside the production branch? So the answer, yes, we do. Let's pick the staging one, okay? And here we go. The pull request title was generated automatically. And the key thing here is this Notion task ID. To keep this automation between Notion and GitHub or GitLab, we have to put this ID before the title, okay? So as generated by automation, we wouldn't worry about that. So go ahead and create pull request. get back to our Notion workspace. Let's open our task and we can see here the status has been changed to code review and the development property has been linked immediately, right? We can see here the commit, status and author. Okay. Let's get back to our pull request and merge it. Pull request successfully merged and we can get back to our Notion workspace. Open our task and we can see here done staging status, right? And our development property link is has been changed as well. Status merged. And when we want merge our release, we go here, open current version. And we have to do the same thing as we did previously. And since this pull request will be merged to our production branch, all of linked issues will be moved to done production status. Thank you for watching this video. You can see this template by link in the description. I will be very grateful if you leave your comment about this review. Also go to our websites. We have many free templates and customizable widgets.